Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my people around the world. This is Stop By, local, regional, and international home and abroad. I don't know how much pasta looking like they want to kick, you know what I mean, the door down into either hell or heaven. I don't know which way they're going, but so much pasta is just like, I don't know which gate open. But anyway, and I'm not making joke off of the pasta, just saying, you know what I mean? I did this video about this same pasta when I set out the. Um, have human living in cage in Trinidad. If you look at my videos, you're gonna see that I did this about this, but I never call his name, which is Pastor Glenn Awang. But anyway, Pastor Glenn Awang, that's his lawyer who just left there. Pastor Glenn Awang, head of the Aruka based Transform Life Ministry facility, is expected to appear in court today, charged with offenses linked to a raid at the property three months ago. He was in court today and he was slapped with trafficking. Police found 69 people at the facility. Some were found handcuffed and locked into cage. I told you all that too, remember? On Thursday night, Awong, in custody since Monday, was charged with kidnapping, falsely imprisoning a woman and with human trafficking. On October the 8th, Special Operation Response Team sought officers raided the facility before dawn most of the people found there were taken to the St. Anne's hospital some were released into care of relative the charge was laid after police consulted with the office of director of public prosecution and now he is charged with trafficking now only listen to me the notice is on nine hundred thousand dollar bill and miss um Jagannath Jagannath that's the lady who charged with him I don't pronounce the name properly but I must say her, his co-accomplice she was on bail 300,000 with a surety he was on bail 900,000 with a surety anyway he made bail it looked like he made bail and I guess she made bail. So now he had to report to Aruka police station once a week. They took his passport away. Also, she got to report to the Shagonas police station once a week, I think so, also. And they took her passport also away. So they are now waiting the outcome of their case. You cannot be too quick to rush to say they are guilty because I'm hearing something else coming through the grapevine and I'm going to let you all know real quick what it is. It is like the St. Anne's Hospital and somebody else in collaboration with these people are paying these people to care for these people. Anyway, stop by, share, like,